Joining me to talk accessories and expressing your personal style is my trendy trailer owner, Karis Bolin. Karis, welcome to the show. Thank you. You have such cute jewelry here. You have a little spread, just some samples you, of yes. the stuff you carry. Um, how did you go about creating my trendy trailer? Well, it started out as a way that I could stay home with my kids and do what I love. And so I started crafting at home. It started out in my garage, got a trailer, and then last November we opened our first brick and mortar store. How exciting. So kind of like this this love, this passion of yours, and it kind of evolved into where you said now you have a storefront. Yes. In Folsom in Historic District, mm -hmm. right on Riley and Sutter Street. Very cute, very cute. So you brought a bunch of items. Yes. And these are all handcrafted? Yes. We make them all in our store. Oh. And we assemble everything. We design everything. And yeah, it's come check it unique. out. pretty unique. So you. talk about some of the things you brought here. What are maybe some of the most popular or the things that you're yes. most proud of? Well, this is kind of a, an array of our price points and also our styles. Sure. We have a ton of stacking bracelets in the store. We use um, natural stones sterling silver, 14 karat gold filled beads, um, glass beads. We use all different types of um, supplies. That way we have a price range for people to choose from. We have a lot of stacking layering pieces. So we have stacking rings, we have layering necklaces, and a bunch of different types of um, earrings. We've got some really statement, oh, big statement earrings, as well as some daintier pieces. And a lot of our earrings are very lightweight because I know women love to wear big statement pieces, yes. but not have the weight of the big earrings. Now, I heard you mention a little bit of stacking. So stacking the rings, stacking the bracelets. Yes. We're not stacking earrings quite yet, but I guess not there's yet. probably ways you could do it if you wanted to. Um, is that a trend for Karis or is that just a jewelry trend I think that's overall? a jewelry trend right now. Um, we like to do it. Right now, I'm only wearing one piece or one necklace. However, mm -hmm. this is a look that um, has been really popular. So like layering. Correct. So we have like the short layers and we have the long layers. Um, and it's, you know, with different necklines, you can add as many necklaces as yeah, you want. Yeah, and I was reading on um, on your site, just talking about how, you know, you think of jewelry as a form of expression, almost like music, you know, how you feel, who you are, um, kind of elaborate on that. Well, as a stay-at-home mom, I felt like I was in um, yoga pants and t-shirts or tank tops, and I felt like adding a pair of earrings just really made the outfit. Mm -hmm. And with the hats, same thing. So we carry a lot of hats. We don't make the hats, but we carry a, a bunch of different accessories in the store as well. Mm -hmm. um, but that was kind of, you know, something that I felt like people could express themselves even without getting all dolled up um, with their outfits. They could go out grocery shopping, but still throw on a pair of um, earrings or bracelets and you feel a little more put together. And you talk about these being handcrafted pieces. What exactly does that mean? I mean, obviously handmade, but why is that different from, you know, any other pieces of jewelry you could just find. So we, you know, part of it is um, the selection of our materials, um, the, the way that we assemble them. We have um, five different um, ladies that work at the store mm -hmm. and we, this has been a community that we've built where um, we can sit around our big table where we actually we actually teach classes oh, as so well. You have some so we have some jewelry making classes. We do, and that's been something that I've really wanted to focus on at the storefront. Is that this has been a way um, where my team has been able to sit around and build community, but we want to expand that and bring people into the store um, and design jewelry. So we we have a bunch of supplies out, and it's very simple. So pieces. I can make some of these pieces Absolutely. myself. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. I might have to check you out. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. So I guess, you know, you, I'm sure you have a list of the classes. Yes. Karis, you're, you're a female, you're a business owner, you're a mom. What advice do you have for other women or other moms, you know, that, that want to do their own thing like you did and kind of just well, build? Well, you know, my business started with $20. I didn't have much to start it out, um, but I would say start where you're at and use the resources you have. If it's $20, if it's a couple hours a week, if it's, um, you know, your community around you, mm -hmm. use the resources you have and just start whatever it is that you're passionate about because that truly is how I got started and it was just a little step that I took and another step and another step. And here and you are. Here and am. here you are. So where are you exactly? Where can people find you? So 307 Riley Street is our storefront address but also www.mytrendytrailer.com. Um, we mm -hmm. also have a code that we're offering to all the Ooh, viewers today. What is that? We love So we it's love a 10% off code and all it is is your California life um, that you type into the coupon code and you get 10% off of your whole order. Very nice. Well, you are such a sweetheart. Best of luck to you. I Thank love you this so jewelry. Much. I'm going to take a closer look a little later on. <laughs>
All right, everybody, for more info on My Trendy Trailer, again, that is MyTrendyTrailer.com. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.